In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Google sign-in for Firebase so that your users can sign into your app with their Google account. Now, make sure you've already set up Firebase in your project along with authentication. And if you haven't done that, we've left links below or you can click on them here. And once you've done that, you'll be ready to go. Okay, so the first things we're gonna need to do are in Firebase. So let's jump over there. First, we're gonna need to give Firebase a SHA-1 key. Okay, so what is this and why do you need it? Well, a SHA-1 key is a unique fingerprint that identifies your app, proving that that your app, the app interacting with Google services, is indeed your app and not an imposter. Okay, so where do we put it? Well, let's come in here to our project settings and scroll down to your apps. These are Firebase configurations for each of your app's platforms. And scroll all the way down, and here you have this SHA certificate fingerprints, and let's add a fingerprint. Now, in order to get this, we need to run a command in the terminal. And before you do this, just make sure you have Java installed. And if you don't, you can download it here. Okay, once that's installed, let's open your terminal. On Mac, you can hit command spacebar and type terminal, or if you're on Windows, you can click the Windows icon, type in CMD, and open the command prompt. Then you wanna execute this command. I'm on Mac, so I'll run this. The default password is Android, and there's your key. Okay, so copy this and paste it in here, and save. Next, you wanna go back to Flutterflow, into your settings here, and into your Firebase tab, and regenerate the config files. Great. All right, next step, we need to add Google sign-in as an authentication provider. So in Firebase, come over to authentication, into sign-in method, and select Google. You wanna enable that, select a support email for the project, and save. Okay, that's it, Google sign-in is set up. However, you'll probably want to test your app using test mode or run mode, so you can share it with people. And in order to get Google sign-in working on those, we have to do one more step. And that is, we need to add in some authorized domains. Well, what does that mean? Well, we've all done Google sign-in before, and when you click on that button, a pop-up comes up, and this is just a normal URL. Well, we need to do this because it ensures that only trusted websites can start the login process. That is, those domains where we're testing our Flutterflow project. So these URLs that we're gonna add to Firebase and Google Cloud tells them where your app is allowed to load and use Google's login functionality. Without this, any website could potentially impersonate your app and steal users' login credentials. Okay, so what are those URLs? Well, to find find them, we actually have to run a test mode. Okay, so let me show you how to get this. So here in my project, make sure you've got an auth page set up. And I grab this from our templates right here, if you click that. So you wanna go to your button where you're gonna generate the login, go to action here and search for authentication. Then you wanna select the action, which for this one is create an account and select the Google provider. Then start a test mode. All right, once you're in a test mode, you need to open up your browser console, which in Chrome, you can do so by hitting the shortcut option command I. Now make sure you're in your console right here and you'll probably see a bunch of stuff right here. You can ignore all of that. And if you want, you could just clear it out like this. Now go back to your test mode and click on that continue with Google button. And when you go back to the console, this is what you're looking for. Right down here, info, the current domain is not authorized for OAuth operations. Remember, that's what we just said. This domain isn't authorized to initiate the login process. So this URL is what we need to add in. So let's copy that and jump over to Firebase. And inside your authentication tab here, you wanna come to settings and down here to the authorized domains and add in that domain. Boom. Beautiful. And if you're gonna use any run modes, you wanna add this domain here, just the app.flutterflow.io. Last step, we need to jump over to Google Cloud. So you can go over to this URL. So make sure you select your project in here, then you wanna come over here to APIs and services and credentials. And go into this web client right here and come down here to add URI and paste in both of those domains. And make sure to add in the HTTPS colon slash slash in front of it. Finally, come down to the authorized redirect URIs and add both of those in down here. So let's copy that first one and paste it in and copy this one and paste that in and then add in this right here. These redirect URIs are URLs where Google sends the user after they successfully log in. And we've done all this before. You click sign in with Google and there's a pop-up with your Google accounts. So after you sign in, Google needs to know where to send the user back in your app. This ensures that your user will end up in your app and not somewhere else unsafe or unintentional. And that's it, you're ready to test this out. So let's continue with Google, choose the email you wanna sign in with, and continue. 
and boom, you're signed in. Now you can confirm this by jumping into Firebase. So back here in Firebase, I can go look at my users and beautiful, you can see that's me and the provider is Google. And that's how to set up Google sign-in with Flutterflow. Let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next video.